Armani Larry takes a look, and he did go around. One, two. Down goes Larry swinging. It's the 42nd time this season that Schemes has fanned the leadoff hitter in an inning. And he has been tremendous as per usual. Very good offensive team. Called third strike. He gets led better looking. And he does. Locks up Hines to close out the inning. His two run home run and then had another RBI single. First pitch swinging is Gavin Dugas, and that is gone. A re rude greeting to the game for Evan Sierra, and it is a home run for Gavin Dugas. His 13th of the year, and just like that, it is a one to nothing LSU lead. First pitch fastball right in the middle of the plate. Dugas did this last Sunday against Auburn. Led off the game with a bomb. I don't believe it was the first pitch of the game. That's just uh, Ricky Henderson type. In terms of numbers for this LSU team, hits this one down the line. It is fair and it'll be extra bases for Tommy White. He will cruise into second base with a stand-up double. In the series loss, and Auburn ground ball first base side fair track down and stepping on the bag is Hancock you just love everything that he does his work ethic his mechanics are solid and he and he puts in the prep time and there's another four punch out. batters and four strikeouts and it's, it's been a couple different pitches fastball in fastball away curveball on a 3-2 pitch there's a change up that I talked about you're not getting into the pitch count too deep Another strikeout. Alfred goes down swinging. Six batters, six strikeouts. Paul Skeens. Over six earned runs per game. And it's a leadoff walk for them to, to get to the SEC tournament as this one is a shot out into right. Forget about it. Planted into the right field seats. Gobert gives LSU a three to nothing lead on a two run home run, the seventh of the year for Gobert. Well, they've been walking up, and the last couple of hits have been on change ups. I think they're, they're, they're recognizing the fact that Sierra is throwing a lot of change ups. That ball was elevated, and another change up out over the plate. And, Gilbert just sitting all over it and hammers this ball to right field. Well, if you're a freshman, this is not one of the lineups you want to have to deal with. But it's just, you don't see that. Jordan Thompson, he gets into the act. That's gone. Three home runs already for LSU here in the bottom of the second inning, they lead it now, four to nothing. I was talking about <laughs> Coach Foxhall and, and this this Thompson home run. It's another changeup. This one seems like it was down in the zone, but if you know a changeup's coming, 80, 81, 82 miles an hour has been the changeup. And most of the damage has been done on changeup. I mean, White hits a double down the left field line, changeup. Just something where you're supposed to take the first pitch, or but you see it happen, you're going, wow. Dugas hits this one out and right, unable to come up with a catch as Clark. Out and right as Dugas makes his way to third base. I think Clark might have been shaded over into the left center gap. Morgan stings this one out to center field. It's caught by Ledbetter, tagging from third and scoring is Dugas. And it's another run for the Tigers. They lead it now five to nothing. And a four pitch walk to David Mershon to start off. 
He has eight on the year. The one two gets away from Malazzo at home plate. Taking the turn past second is Mershon and he's in scoring position. Swing and a miss down goes high full for the second out of the inning of Amani Larry here one and two. Good night Mr. Larry to close out the top of the third inning. So I would say we're a little bit different. I think Paul's got a little bit of a different fastball to me. See he just threw a hundred out there. Uh, I'm a little bit different than that. <laughs> mental preparation everything else what's the next step for you to elevate your game he's executing the pitches just uh, as much as possible I think it's just going out there every single day with the right mindset knowing that my stuff's gonna play really well against these guys and going out there with that mindset coach Lamonis knows what what he's up against here tonight with Paul Skeens dealing another strikeout for Skeens but it's something we need to keep an eye on into center field for a base hit. So the first hit of the game picked up. And it felt like he was kind of shocked that Mershon did not swing at it. Ground ball over to Dugas. And Skeens is out on the fifth. ERA for the league back in 2014, 3.23. Now over five runs per game as Highfield hits this one well out to left. Into the stands for a home run. So Ross Highfield breaks up the shutout with a leadoff homer here in the sixth. Just on time for this belt high fastball. It's more middle of the plate, and we haven't seen Skeens in the middle of the plate very much. But this fastball is out over and elevated, and we talked earlier about how Highfield has some serious pop. Freshman just coming into his own. Yeah, I, you know, I'm trying to come up with what the. <laughs> Called third strike. Games, the travel ball tournaments all throughout the country. Base hit for Alex Malazzo. Heading into the game, number three in the nation in that department. Hits this one, a slow roller to first tough play. And he's going to beat it out at first. Lays down a bunt. Tough play. And it's going to be another infield hit. No play for Tapper. And that misses. Walking in a run. It's now 6-1. to one. And That's Malazzo. Brings in run number six for the Tigers. Seven for 14 with the bases loaded. Hits this one into right field for a base hit. And the lead extends for LSU. It is now a 7 to 1 game as Dugas scores. Beloso powers this one in the air to right. Clark is there. This should be deep enough. To score another run in the form of Morgan. It's now 8 to 1, LSU. And the sack fly RBI. Pops this in the air, playable for Highfield. Here for Mississippi State in the seventh. First pitch over to Dugas. That ball pulls. You, that, that's all eliminated then seven and eight and that is dropped in the left field for a base hit I'm not sure Clark knew what that ball was it looked like he looked straight up in the air this one was an air next one was a bloop into left field he just at 3.23 back in 2014 I mean that just stands out especially in this era this one's hit well out towards the gap and this is caught by Trey Morgan, what a play. The runner advances to third base. And how about that? The runner over at second base. Jordan tried to tag up. He's out. Puts things together. And this is a base hit for Malazzo. Second one for him. He's now reached base three times in a row. Nibble like that. That can be a problem. Ground ball hit into left field for a base hit. 
From right to left field, that may have pushed it foul. Chopper, back up the middle, base hit. This might plate two, and it does. A two-run RBI single. It's now 10-1 to one in favor of LSU. All of a sudden, now 6% of strikes are not getting called. White hammers this one in the left. It's gone. A two-run homer for Tommy White brings the curtain down on this game. LSU one rules Mississippi State 12-1 to to grab a win here tonight at Alex Box Stadium. Leave it to the man that's second in the country in RBIs to finish the game out.